Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterion Racer. Today we're coming with um, my pickups from the All Card Weekend down in Denver, the biggest card show in um, Colorado uh, and also in the Rocky Mountain areas. So I went down there for um, two things. I was looking for a 56 um, uh, Jackie Robinson and then junk wax. Let's get into what I picked up. So not a lot of junk wax. It was pretty thin. I went down there last night, you know, the night before. Sorry, my hands are dirty. I was working on my bike. Um, so we kind of bundled a bunch of stuff together. A bunch of 89 Fleer. Uh, they wanted 40 bucks. Um, I got them for 30 bucks a box. You can't really argue with that. Beat up boxes. So I had to take advantage of that. Um, who cares if the box is beat up? The packs look actually pretty good. And also they... I, of the same kind of guy, I, we picked up some 1991 um, score. I know there's nothing in here, but I picked it up for 10 bucks a box. Can't really argue with that. Same guy. We kind of all bundled this together. 88 score. This brings back a lot of memories for me. Um, can't remember if I actually have a box of this. Anyways, 10 bucks a box. Can't really, for junk wax, can't really go wrong with that kind of jazz, Okay. Uh, what else did I pick up? More junk wax. <clears throat> 80, I, I just have a feeling this stuff is drying up. It's hard and hard to find. I can buy go on eBay and, you know, I pay $15 plus dollars for shipping because shipping's gone through the roof. 87 tops for 30 bucks. I'm going to take it all day long. All right, so we got 87 tops too. And also, different guy I've bought packs off of before, 86 tops. Wanted 75. This is a different vendor. This is, you know, 77 tops. And then these are together for $80 for all that. 86 tops. These will come down a little bit in price. He wanted 75 bucks. Um, I took a look at the box. He said 60 bucks. And I said, done. I'm not going to argue with that. In the non sport world of wax, um, here's Pro Set uh, Series 2. Um, almost a full box. I think just missing two packs. Um, this is actually, I don't have this. I love this set and I don't have it. This is actually the English version. Um, three, six months ago, these were going for about 75 bucks a pop, believe it or not. And you know, he took 20 bucks on that. So that's going to be a fun, good God, lots of junk wax, fun little uh, thing. Uh, let's see what else we got. Ooh. From Flick, from the guy from the Christmas story, I picked up a couple autographs for pretty darn cheap. I'm telling you the prices just to see what the market value is. Sometimes I like to see what people are paying. If I overpay for something, I probably won't tell you what it was. But we got an Ellen Thick uh, autograph here in a PSA slab here. 35 bucks. I can't go wrong. There's nothing, no eBay comes close to that price uh, on eBay. But yeah. The guy Flick from Christmas Story. I think he was kind of disappointed that I didn't recognize. I knew who he was, but I don't want to point that out. And actually, I was looking at the next card the night before because I was thinking about buying it in a Beckett, but in a PSA, we got a Debbie Gibson. Uh, I believe there's 70 or 80 bucks they're asking for it on um, on eBay. Um, there's... Yeah, the comps are really high. Pop Century ones. I actually wanted the, the Superstar Card by Pro set. So we picked that up for $40. We actually flipped between $40 and $50 on that. Either way, I got a good deal on it. And I won the coin flip for $50. But believe it, yeah, I couldn't believe he had it. I was looking around for actually that particular card. And it, yeah, I was going to make an offer on eBay. Let's get into some random packs. Um, starting out with a 1972 or 73 Disney's on Parade stickers. Uh, $5. I just picked up one of those because I don't have that for my non-sport card collection. Uh, let's see here. Where are my piles of stuff? Uh, let's go into the baseball pickups. All oh, a dollar a pack. We got, just to add it into the collection, 94 leave. Some 94 tops. I know there's nothing in here. This one has the two gold cards for a buck a pop. Some 90 flare. Some 90 upper deck. Right there. And let's go into... Yeah, should have been a little bit more organized. More more dollar to two dollar packs. i never seen this environmental action cards. Why not pick that up? Yo, MTV Raps. That has gone through the roof. 
Uh, I think I'll open that toward the end of the stream here. Sesame Street trading cards. We got some Jeffrey Jones for, for a buck. You can't. These cards are actually fairly expensive. I don't have any Archie comics by Skybucks. And the best pickup is going to be for one dollar the Crow Pack. These are about twelve to fifteen bucks regularly sold online. You can buy lots of five of them. This last two weeks have been selling for forty five to fifty five bucks. So that's nine dollars a pack. But for one dollar, not gummed together, I, I couldn't pass that up. I was that's all he had. Trust me, for a dollar a pack, you can't really go wrong with that. Speaking of that, um, go check out my last video. I'm giving a 200-person sub giveaway. One of these packs is going to be in there. Um, either a Paul Molitor rookie, Alan Trammell rookie, or um, a whole bunch of um, good non-sport cards. Just go over to my um, the last video and um, sub, I guess, and comment below. Let's see what else we picked up. Oh, just... um. Uh, you know, I'm a Milwaukee Braves guy, so there wasn't a lot of vintage this time around. I It was a little disappointing, but I did find some, you know, I'm almost done with my 56. Uh, I thought I had the Gene Conley, but anyways, I, I my 56 Milwaukee Braves team sets. So I got a um, Gene Conley and Chuck Tanner. We bundled all this together from the same guy. This might be his rookie card. Uh, 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 uh. Anyway, he's the manager for the... Uh, no, that Chuck Tanner. Anyways, I thought he was a manager for Pittsburgh Pirates. I may be wrong. Anyways, I only have like one more common to go. A lot of these, you know, you can buy online... But, you know, by the time you pay for shipping, it's just better off doing that. In my local card shop, I've got all the ones they, they had. So let's go over some 1960 pickups. For All these came out to under $4 per card. That adds up. <laughs> you know, it's hard paying that for commons, but they're tough commons. Some of these are in gorgeous shape, like this Felix card. Joe Ad Adcock is in rough shape, but I don't have a 1961. Um, great first baseman, very underrated. Lou Burnett. Awesome. Miscut, but great shape. One. We got a rookie of Bob Hartman. Good old Carl Willie. This gap tooth. Nice shape card. Bright, nice and white on that one. Al Spanger. I'm not ripping out his smile. It's just not you know noticeable. He has a great smile. Johnny Logan. What is he? A five-time all-star here for four dollars, and just popping white color. Beautiful card. Back, great shape. This is one of my, this probably is my best looking 1960s card. Uh, so that was in his common box of that. Got the Chuck Manager there. For, we got Ray Boone. Joe J, who was a bonus baby back in the day. Another nice white card here. Uh, he had some good season. No, I didn't see that crease. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, and some really bad season, Joe J. We got, old. Oh, look at it, look at that stud right there. That's Bob Rush. That's a professional baseball pitcher from 1960, of course. We got Bill Burton. Look how he chokes up on that bat. I never choked up on a bat. I just got a smaller bat. Uh, Bob Bull. And we got a corner missed out of the stand. Look how it up. Well, guys. Uh, that's my pickups. What did I want to open? I don't know. Let's grab one of these 1994 packs. But I'm pretty stoked about my Debbie Gibson. Anyways, while I'm doing that, um, 56 Jackie Robinson. Didn't happen. Believe it or not, they didn't have any low enough grades ones uh, my, in my budget. The, the, the lowest grade one was a PSA 4. You know, and the guy, you know, throw it at me at 900. I know that's a good deal. I can't pull the trigger on that. I'm looking for a PSA 1 or 2. Uh, it's just, you know, everyone has a budget, you know. <laughs> I hate to buy it on eBay, but I might have to. I've been saying that for a couple of year, years now. So halfway bricked up, Raphael Bellard. Mark. Daryl Boston. He was playing for the Rockies. Ah. Uh, 
Never heard of that guy. Felix Furman. Is that my gold card? Oh, this is just getting painful. Uh, Robbie Ventura. I bet he had, what, 29 home runs this season? 22. We had Chuck Finley. Jeff McKnight. And Andy Bennis. Tony Phillips. Mark Kubizar. All-star one year. And we got a Todd Jones. Futures. God, he looked old as hell, and he's a future star for Todd Jones. Well, guys, that's my pickups. Lots of junk wax. We got Debbie Gibson, Alan Thick. Um, if you ever do not watch him with um, Jim Carrey in his, their first movie, uh, it was Copper Mountain Club Med. Oh, God, the worst movie I've ever seen, and I've seen Freddy Got Fingered. Well, guys, oh, until, well, until next time, guys, we'll catch you later.